Hey. <clears throat> So I saw three movies again today, since Tuesdays are $5 days, and ketchup day. I'm just giving them a ride. <laughs> no, not this time, the car's <laughs> over there. I laughed for a sec, I was like, at first I was like, oh, he's right. Like, wait, no, there's there's Laura's car over there. I didn't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you saw the way better of the three movies. I would... Here's the thing, like I would before we hit before we hit record, I was like, they got, we can beat the record for shortest midnight screenings after the founder was like six minutes. I put I put that on there and was like, <laughs> all you gotta do is this movie. Nope. Mm mm. Nope. Mm. <laughs> and then that's it. Yeah. Just grunt reviews. I put them. I saw it was six minutes, and I was like, I, I thought I talked about that longer. I guess not. Did part of it go missing? Um. I would ask if you've seen the trailers for Gold. It honestly doesn't even matter if you've seen that movie or not because you've seen this movie. <laughs> have you have you seen the, I saw the trailer once and I was like that's one of those trailers that gives a lot of the movie away. <laughs> as if they as if it matters because it's you've seen this movie before. Yeah. And you ever see one of those it's one of those kind of like January wide releases where you could tell the studio like had maybe had some investment in it in its production but then maybe realized towards the end like it's not Ooh, that this is yeah. bad but it's not it it, it, it it it's not a contender for anything yeah but we'll yet push it, it back a month and it'll just get released well it, it, pretty much because yeah. there wasn't a lot of marketing behind this and it was released on like a limited screening at the end of December. I get maybe just in case like just in case somebody was spectacular in it. And you know what? I kind of get that because yeah. McConaughey is great in this movie. He he goes for like he does a total body transformation in it again. Um he, he's got he instead of being real anorexically thin, he's just really fat this time. <laughs> well, maybe that's a good thing because no offense to Matthew McConaughey, and I know he's he got, got skinny man. He got real skinny, and it stayed with him for a while. He, like his yeah. face changed yeah. after. And and you know he, he's still a good looking dude, but he's yeah. much more weathered after Dallas Buyers Club. Maybe he that movie this did. Movie. <laughs> that movie did to yeah. take like a physical toll on the man. You know, maybe he did need this yeah. movie. You know, and he's just like fuck it. I need a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, let me do this gold movie. Fool's gold? No, not that one. <laughs> Although there is a part in this movie where it shows his face on a magazine and it says Fool's Gold. Um, <laughs> it it kind of. It kind of hurts in a way when you see an actor go through a transformation for a movie like this and the movie turns out to be not terribly great. <laughs> like, imagine if Raging yeah. Bull sucked. <laughs> <laughs> or, or what was that fucking... Uh... Oh, what was it? it? The movie with Christian Bale and Steve Zahn and... A... Oh, that was a good movie. Rescue Dawn? Rescue Dawn. Yeah. Which was a great movie. Mm -hmm. But what if that movie had been terrible and those three guys just tortured themselves for what if, fuck all? Dude, like, what if the machinist was terrible? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's just another one of these movies. It's one of those, like, Wolf of Wall Street, Scarface, Goodfellas... War Dogs, even, from last year. It's a movie about a character that's chasing the American dream, wants to get riches, but and maybe find some corruption along the way. They get rich. The woman they're married to at the beginning of it, they're no longer with by the middle of the movie. Uh, by the end, scandal erupts. It's one of those. And we've seen that movie many times. Yeah, and it's... And you know, like... I remember reviewing War Dogs with Irving, and I said, like, I've seen this kind of movie before many times. I've seen it done way better. This movie, the movie War Dogs, didn't really feel that original, but it was at least entertaining. Like, it, yeah. I, I at least kind of had fun watching these guys do their gun running business. This movie, it, not that it's a bad movie, but. Unlike with War Dogs, which itself was fairly mediocre, this one is mediocre at being about something I, I don't give a shit about. I spent most of this movie, like, 
I'm following this guy doing raising his business by gold digging. I don't really care. Yeah. Like I, 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 I don't like. I like the performance. The movie's got a solid cast. Like uh, uh, Edgar Ramirez, Bryce Dallas Howard, Bruce Greenwood, Toby Kebbell, Corey Stoll, Craig T. Nelson is in this. Oh. <laughs> briefly, briefly. I think uh, he's out of the movie by the time the opening title comes on, but <laughs> oh, man. but still, there was a little Craig T. Nelson in there, so that was cool. Yeah, you know, fuck Fuller House. I want like the coach reunion show. The, yeah, that they shot a pilot for. Did they shoot a pilot? You didn't know that? No, no that that happened. That happened like a year or two ago. They shot a pilot for a coach. Uh, like sequel series in which Hayden's son is now a coach and brings his dad out of retirement to help him coach a football team. It didn't go past pilot because the network passed on it for saying it was too dated. So I can't imagine how dated that is when we've got two seasons of fucking Fuller House. Jesus. <laughs> I want to see that fucking pilot, god damn it. You know, the the, you, the reason is it is, is, like, you and I love Coach. Yes, we do. Because it was one of the best sitcoms of that era. Yeah. Hands down. Uh-huh. But I think Fuller House has more of a, like, a, a memory thing. Yeah. That's true. Like, Coach is... Dear God, is Coach the better show? But you're right in the yeah. Family Matters is or not Family Matters. Sorry, what the fuck that too? Yeah, it's like I was Perfect Strangers, far better show than Family Matters. But Family <laughs> I, Matters has more of the fan base. <laughs> I was flipping through uh, Hulu the other day, like because I'm home all day with the kid. Mm -hmm. I got to find stuff to watch half the time. <laughs> I was flipping through Hulu. And I was like, oh yeah. Major Dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, some Gerald McRaney before he was scary and everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and like halfway through the first episode, I was like, doesn't hold up. Not as good as Coach. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking damn right. It's not as good as Coach. Um, look, this movie, the, it, the movie only gets interesting really in like the last 20 minutes when it turns out that a lot of them, a, a lot of our main characters were getting scammed, and it's kind of a reveal towards the end. And it, that to me was far more interesting than the rise to the top and back to the bottom story that it was doing. Uh, like, I, that was the only time I really got interested in this, was finding out how this one character in the movie kind of duped everyone, including his partner. And then it sort of turns into like a missing person's case. Like maybe he faked his own death or maybe he didn't. And this, that was interesting, but that's only the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie. Uh, the rest of it is stuff you've seen before. It's not a bad movie, but it's not worth seeing. And then, you know, it's worth a rental. If anything, to see, there's a part in this, McConaughey spends most of this movie drunk, looking like he, you know, smells of, like, bourbon and jock itch through most of it. Um, That's kind of how I figured he smelled anyway. This one especially, because this one, like, he's he's out of shape, he's balding, <laughs> like, you know, just, maybe he smells the same, it just kind of looks more so. Yeah. Um, there's a part in this where he's, like, fucking drunk or high or everything and, like, touches a tiger's head and he's like, I'm touching a tiger's head! <laughs> like, you know, like, little, very McConaughey moments like that. Uh, <laughs> make the movie it, it, it at least be worth a rental. Okay. Uh, it, look, this movie debuted, like, at the bottom of the top ten a couple weeks ago. I don't know how many theaters this is still in. It doesn't matter. It, it's not worth paying to see it in theaters. Ah, ah, it's, it, it's better than fool's gold. That's my final thought on that.